All these lead companies have you sold on wanting millions and millions of leads, but at the end of the day, that's probably not what you want. You would much prefer to have less leads, but more booked appointments, right? And that's exactly what we focus on. This is an example right here where we are actually getting appointments scheduled, right? You would probably prefer instead of a million leads, you probably want 50 leads or a hundred leads as long as a good amount of them are converting into actual estimates. So you can show up and close the project that are fully exclusive, right? Not being shared with 10 million other companies. So I'm going to outline a couple different lead sources that we're using like this one. I'm going to outline the price and what we're paying per lead. And I'm even going to outline a uh, different lead source right here and how much we're paying. This is Google as an example. And then I'm even going to show you live conversations on how we are converting those leads into actual paying jobs. First, of course, into estimates and then into paying jobs and how we're tracking exactly where they come from and even how much they are spending with the company. So let me actually show you, right? This is the information that we are getting, but this lead right here that we are looking at in this conversation, this lead is over $33,000 that this job was closed on. So let's go ahead and dive in and let's just start from the beginning. So where do we actually get the leads? So there's two platforms that work extremely well. This is Facebook, and I'm also going to outline Google right here. We'll kind of review those two. So the issue with Facebook is that a lot of the leads are kind of low quality. And the reason they're low quality is because most companies, and maybe you've even run Facebook ads in the past, but it, you're typically just getting name, email, and phone. That's not a high quality lead. That's just someone submitting their information. And sometimes they can be auto, what's called autofill, meaning they just automatically fill the form. And then when you try to call them, when you try to reach out to them, they don't even know who you are. And that's certainly not the best way to run a company. What we like to do is run appointment campaigns, meaning we want people to book appointments in your calendar. And that's exactly what we did here. And as you can see, out of the 99 leads that came in, we were able to book 55 appointments. Now, that's a pretty good number. If 50% of the leads are booking an appointment, those are pretty high quality leads. And in this situation, what we're doing is we are getting kitchen leads. So as you can see here, these are all kitchens and bathrooms. Uh, these are full remodel leads. So very, very good, right? These are high quality people that need big projects. So we're able to close them at a very high dollar amount. And these are fully exclusive as well because they're not being shared, right? They're, they're going directly to this company. Now, what are we actually spending per lead? Let's take a look at that. So this one right here that got 99 leads that came in, we're spending about $24 per lead. This one, you know, 32. So again, these campaigns range, right? If we're running kitchen campaigns or bathroom campaigns, it does range. It's not just a static number that you can just pay Facebook and they'll give you leads. But if you did the average, we got a 207 leads here, and then it was about $30 per lead on average, right? A ton of impressions, also a ton of reach. And then there's a lot of leads here that we can actually track that came in from the website, but they initially saw us on Facebook. So definitely pretty good there. Let's compare that to Google. So if we start looking at Google here, you'll see we're getting way less impressions here. However, we're also getting a very good amount of leads. So for these total, let's see how much did we spend? Well, I have to do the math exactly on how much we spent, but this one right here, it's almost $3,000. And as you can see, we got a ton of clicks and the conversion rate is at about 13% from the click, which again, that's good. We got 96 conversions. That's about $30 per lead. Again, same concept. These are fully exclusive. And this client uh, actually does quite a bit of stuff. They do full remodeling. They do windows. They do doors. They do everything. You know, a pretty broad campaign there. But anyways, $29 per exclusive lead that's coming in and filling out not just a name, email, and phone, but I'll actually show you what kind of information we are collecting. So I'm going to show you a couple here. I'm going to try not to reveal any sensitive data here we have are you the homeowner yes right they're filling out what is the scope of the project kitchen remodel and then timeline from project as soon as possible so this is one example of a survey that we have people fill out and this is another one so we get their uh, their postal code and then from there a cabinets yes i plan to move or update the cabinets countertops yes i plan to update the countertops floor plan and then also choose the appropriate status ready to hire so please tell us a little bit about the project looking to redo kitchen and master bathroom again this is a live lead that came in when would you like this request to be completed less than two months 
So seems like it's pretty much ASAP and we had a pretty good conversation here as you can see, right? So we are scrolling and you could do all the conversations inside of here. So as soon as the lead came in, my client texted, right? So leads name, it's Victor over at ABC company. Thanks for signing up for a free estimate. We've got your spot reserved while we still have availability. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you'd like done? They didn't respond instantly. So we actually automatically emailed them again, automatically followed up. Then we started getting responses. Hey, remodeling, you know, blah, blah, blah. So here, we have all the information. Same thing with this lead right here that came in and you can even see the dates right here on the right hand side. So we're able to track. And the reason this works so well is because most people when they run Facebook ads, and maybe if you're running Facebook ads, make sure you are tracking the ads based on what's getting you booked appointments, right? Make sure you're basing it on what's giving you estimates and also closed sales, not leads. Because if you get 10 leads, none of them respond. Why would you want 10 more of those leads? All right, so I hope you are enjoying this video. Look, I don't see anyone else out here giving away the whole farm like we are showing you everything A to Z, how we get the leads, how we generate them, the lead quality, how many of them are closing, the appointments that we're booking, everything A to Z. We work with one company per area. What that means is that if you're seeing this, chances are others are seeing as well. So what you can do is take a look at the link down below this video with moreestimates.com and see if your area is still available. If you would like to work together one-on-one, -on -one. I am the owner of the company. When's the last time you spoke to the owner of one of these big lead companies? Probably never. So go ahead and see if your area is available, even if it's not. And even if we work with an industry in your specific specific area, I still might be able to help give you some consulting and just help for free and give you some advice on what you can do to move forward to actually land more projects and land more jobs. I work with companies all across the US. We have tons of case studies and 12 appointments a month and make three or four of those sales that average 25 to 35,000. It makes sense to do it. We've already mm -hmm. sold two or three jobs from from the lead source. That's amazing. That's awesome. The crazy thing about this too, is that, I mean, this is literally like the first 30 days of us working oh, together. I yeah, no, completely agree. Tons of testimonials from people landing tons of projects from online advertising from their leads that we help them generate. We also have a full software that helps home service companies like yours close more projects, follow up faster, get more Google reviews, websites, all that stuff. So check out that link down below, moreestimates.com. And sometimes what we're actually able to do is even give free trials. So you can try it before paying anything and see how well it works for you. Get booked appointments. That is the number one thing. And it's the same thing with this lead. As you can see, we're getting the address. Okay, GPS, I'll reschedule. Uh, and then we're talking about breaks and all that. So they were able to book this appointment also online. So Susan, your initial phone call consultation has been scheduled and reserved for blank. Again, this is an automatic text that's going out as soon as they book onto the calendar from an ad just like this. Please press yes to confirm we write have the date and time. If they don't answer back, as you can see, this came in on May 8th, they didn't answer. We follow up with them and say May 9th. So a day after, Susan, do we have the right date and time? And then from there, she's able to respond. So as I'm sure you can agree, getting a lead, fill out an entire survey. And this is what we like doing. We, we like getting leads to fill out as much information as possible. Sometimes we even ask for address as well on this form, but when we collect all this information, this is considered a real lead, right? Not like a home advisor or Angie's leads, name, email, and phone, and then being sent to five other people. No, here they know your name, they want you to reach out. And so that is exactly what's linked, again, full remodels to these ads, as well as these ones right here on Google and on Facebook. And that is how we are able to convert a lot of them not just get a lot of leads, but also convert them. Now you're also probably wondering what do these ads even look like, right? Like what, what are people seeing to submit themselves as a lead? So that is the next thing that I'm going to show you. So this is an example of an ad and I'll show you a few here. These are creatives that we like to use on social media. Of course, we like to use exact images from your company. Stock images don't work that well. Videos also work very well. If you have any videos that you film on your projects, use that in your marketing, use that in your advertising. There's so many times that I see these remodeling 
modeling companies and these contractor companies not using videos. It makes no sense, right? People use social media and they want to see who you are. They want to see the kind of work that you do. Sure, before and afters are great, but videos, what people don't realize is that the homeowners, they know about stock images. They see these stock images everywhere. They don't know if it's your project or not. So use videos and make sure you post videos. I'm a big advocate. Now, this one right here above that I'll show you actually works much better because what we're doing is we're taking a review, we're taking a testimonial from the client and where you're using that as an ad, as an advertisement, and also putting in a collage of images of their projects. And this one worked really well. Most people also have some kind of offer of like, oh, we'll just get a free estimate. Look, at the end of the day, that's not an offer. You just give free estimates and so does everyone else in town. So what you want to do is make it a bit special, right? Give them $500 off, give them $1,000 off. Remember, they're going to be spending 30 grand with you, 40, 50, 60, 80, even more. Let's see this. Let's see how much this project was actually worth because we looked at the other one. Let's take a look at this one and see what it was valued at and what my client set it up under. Okay, 97,000 for this project. And I think it's because they actually needed more than just like a kitchen and uh, and bathroom. We can take a look at the conversation right here. Okay, one update, kitchen, master bathroom, outside yard deck. Okay, there you go. That explains why it's worth so much. You wanna make sure you're posting photos and these are coming in from ads just like this. Use a case study, use a testimonial in, a, in your advertising. Again, this is just the beginning of the actual ad copy. And by the way, this is like a, a full guide here if you want this you can go below this video and you can actually download this um this entire like a pdf it's like a ebook and then use it for yourself and then take some of our ads that are proven so we run these ads all across the u.s and I just know what works. That's why it works so well. Take that and use it to your advantage and actually generate those leads. The other thing that you really want to take into account here when you're running ads and when you're running lead gen campaigns and this kind of stuff, you wanna make sure your website or your landing page where people are seeing the form, the survey, you wanna make sure it's a high converting website. And there's so many contractors that I speak to and they're like, oh, well, well, I already have a website. Look, that's great. You can have a website. Good for you. Everyone has a website. But if it's not high converting, meaning it doesn't convert potential leads into actual leads and into booked appointments and into customers, then it doesn't matter, right? You can run the best campaigns in the world. You can take all of our winning ads. But if you send them to a page that's broken, that's not convincing, that's not persuasive, that doesn't incentivize people to submit their information to your company and your company only, and then get excited about your company, then it doesn't really matter, does it, right? You can have 75,000 people look at your company. You can get all the same amount of clicks as we're getting here and the same amount of people viewing your landing pages and viewing your websites that we're getting, but you're not gonna get the 207 leads. Maybe you'll get 50 leads with the same budget, all because your website isn't optimized correctly. So that's the big thing to know here. You can copy and paste all my stuff, and if you download the PDF, you'll see a bunch of our backend strategies, but if people are landing on your page and it doesn't convince them to buy, it doesn't convince them that you're the best company, then you could be wasting a ton of your budget. Another key strategy is retarget. So if you have people coming in from Google, if you're doing maybe newspaper ads or TV commercials, radio, whatever else you might be relying on, postcards, people are looking you up and they're landing on your website, you want to retarget them. You want to have this omnipresence style of advertising where, and I'm sure you've seen this, right? You go on Amazon and you try to look up a product, but then what happens as you keep going on the internet? That product follows you around and then it says, hey, right? You're on some random website, you're on Forbes, and then you're seeing that product appear out of nowhere. Maybe you've had a conversation with someone and your phone's next to you and then you're seeing that product all of a sudden being advertised to you, right? That is online advertising. I don't know how they track it. Don't ask me. It's a little bit creepy, but nonetheless, it works, right? So you want to retarget target people. If someone lands on your website from postcards, from Facebook, from Google, any other channel that you might be relying on, you want to make sure they see your ads everywhere. So now they're going on a different website. Boom. They see your ads, right? ABC remodeling. They see your company. Now they're on Facebook. They're sitting on a toilet and they're scrolling. Boom. They see your ads. And now naturally they think you are the best company and you are the only company to work with. And you don't need some kind of crazy budget. We're just retargeting the people that have already clicked on your website. Very important you do this stuff. Hopefully you found this video valuable. If you want to check out more videos, I'm going to link it up right here.